Hello guys, my name is Alexander Moroz and today I will unbox the Radeon HD 5750 video card by Sapphire AMD 1GB HDDR5 and I will give you a little bit of introduction to this card I will tell you all the pros uh, of this card and all the cons of this card so um, this video card is the smallest uh, sister of the 5000 series by AMD it's the lowest um, video card on the performance from, from the 5000 series by AMD and I purchased this video card from New York for um, uh, $149.99 plus free shipping I got a nice deal they, uh, they give me a deal for two of those for 249 bucks with the free shipping 240 bucks with the free shipping so I can cross fire them but I decided that I'm not gonna do that and just because I have 22 inches LCD right now monitor which supports 1600 by 900 and this resolution is not gonna take advantages of the Crossfire X technology by AMD to take care of that technology to take all the advantages and features of that technology to take all the uh, speeds from uh, Crossfire X you need to have at least 1900 resolution monitor or higher and by the way HG5750 is the energy efficient the most energy efficient card from the 5000 series Radions and uh, by AMD Sapphire and whatever company it's required less power like I told you to run the less than any 5000 series radians it's uh, generate less hits le less hit so we can we can imagine if it's uh, less power than less hit because less voltage uh, I mean less voltage and less watt to power this card and this card is cooler and and it's quiet as well and this card is going to be very small it's going to fit in any almost any case which is awesome and um, what else this card supports DirectX 11 and this card is going to be as fast as almost as fast as GTX 260 for the price of like 129 bucks it's unbeatable I think I sold my GTX 275 just to win some cash over it and I purchased this card to stay with this card just because GTX 275 was faster yes but this card is supporting all the technologies for the future that X11 plus it can run today games higher than 30 FPS frames per second at the highest uh, settings in the graphical settings in those games which is makes sense and I'm right now I'm on a low budget and I decide that's the card I'm gonna go and this card supports um, Firestream which can encode and decode videos with a particular uh, software uh, on the video encoding this port supports the display port two DVIs VGA technology DVI to VGA and uh, HDMI so basically connect anything to this card. It supports two monitors through the DVIs or it supports three monitors to the display port. Alright? Alright, let's go ahead and get to that card closer and I'm gonna show you what is in the box. Thank you so much. And again my name is Alexander Moros. Let's move on. And don't miss the tutorials when I'm gonna explain to you, show you the performance of this card to my oldest GTX 260 and GeForce 9800 GT and uh, I'm going to show you how to overclock this card. By the way, I'm NVIDIA man, but I decide to go with ATI this time just because the best, I mean by AMD this time, just because with Radiance, just because the best um, numbers, uh, dollars uh, versus uh, frames per second and uh, performance. And uh, I, I had 25 video cards in my life and I am a good uh, overclocker as well and I am a guy with the experience. So listen, watch my video, subscribe if you like it. Let's go ahead and move on. Thank you so much. I'm going to show you what is in the box. Alright guys, well let's go ahead and see what is in the box. In the box, I received this box from Newegg, Sapphire, 
Radeon HD 5750 1GB GDDR5 memory version video card. Box was very small, so we can tell that my uh, GeForce GT uh, GeForce uh, 9800 GT was bigger than this box. So we can tell that this card will fit in any middle uh, cases and full cases. I'm not sure in many towers, but uh, we have the card inside in a box and in a little static bag we have the drivers, we have the sapphire badge for your case powered by sapphire ATI we have um, the instructions instructions, we have the 6 to 4 pin power connector 6 pin goes to your video card and 4 pin into your power supply just in case if you do not have a 6 pin connector from your power supply it has the crossfire bridge to connect two of those cards together in the Crossfire X technology it has the DVI to VGA connector which goes here just in case if you have the oldest monitors with the small connectors called VGA analog so card card has a plastic fan um, it's a bluish greenish dark color PSB it has the aluminum uh, head thing um, aluminum heat sink and uh, inside base is a look like copper look like it's going to the GPU it has the solid capacitors they all checked it has 6 pin uh, power connector required 6 pin power connector which is this one over here and uh, it has the uh, uh, display port, HDMI and two DVI's and DVI's can connect up to two monitors and the uh, display port can connect up to three monitors with the newest uh, AMD technology ATI iFinity so it supports the iFinity technology as well uh, on GPU it's 750 MHz on GPU and I'm looking to overclock this card and push it to the performance of Radeon 5750 and save myself at 40 30 dollars and don't miss my video I'm gonna show you how to overclock this card to make to up to those performance and when we're gonna overclock this card uh, GPU by about 850, 850 megahertz is gonna reach performance close to GTX 260 for the 129 bucks I paid plus free shipping this is unbeatable when you're gonna put this video card in crossfire together those two video cards and overclock it you're gonna have faster than Radeon 5850 which costs right now 329 dollars by January 4, 2010 on New York and you're gonna get performance close to Radeon 5870 which costs 400 dollars so you will save Newegg asked me 240 to 50 bucks for two of those uh, for both and um, in total so if I would buy it if I didn't have the monitor uh, that only supports 1600 by 900 as a max I would buy it to reach the performance of almost equal to 5870 for the price of 150 dollars saving over the 5870 Radeon which is awesome, which is going to be cooler and quieter and take less energy as well. So it's a nice, nice video card. This video card is the best buy if you have on a budget uh, maxed out of $140. It's faster than uh, 9800 GT and it's faster than GTS 250 and when it's overclocked it's almost as fast as 4870 Radeon almost equal alright well thank you so much for watching my name is Alexander Moroz and I'm gonna close this video on this and don't miss my video tutorial how to overclock this video card and comparing to the benchmarks with my oldest GTX 260 and 9800 GT and GTS 250 thank you so much as again, Sapphire, Radeon HD 5750, 1GB GDDR5 memory version video card. 
which is purchased for the unbeatable price of $129.99. If you're looking for a video card around $100 and maxed out on $140, this is the best card for you on your budget to play any today game at the highest settings at the more than 30 or equal to 30 fps thank you so much and have a nice day please subscribe rate my hard work and hopefully i'm gonna do more videos in the future bye bye now